गुड मॉर्निंग फूड शेल्टर एंड क्लोथिंग दीज आर द बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ ह्यूमन क्लॉथ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्टिविटी मैन्युफैक्चर इट लोकली एंड से गुड बाय टू इम्पोर्टेड क्लोदिंग मटेरियल इट इज अ बिग इंडस्ट्रियल एक्टिविटी छत्रपति शाहू महाराज द विजनरी रूलर किंग ऑफ कोलहापुर टूक इनिशिएटिव एंड फाउंडेड द श्री छत्रपति शाहू मिल इन कोलहापुर सिटी द फाउंडेशन स्टोन वॉज लेड इन द इयर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सिक्स एंड विद इन फोर इयर्स the mill commenced its production of cotton yarn few years later the weaving section was added and the mill started producing grey cloth the shahu mill it is seen as foundation of industrial culture in the kolhapur region the shahu mill shahu mill is situated in the heart of city and is spread over about an area of 26 acres now we are at the lake koti tirth as you know kolhapur is the city of lakes this lake koti tirth has religious importance the chimney you see on the other side of this lake is the shahu mill siren of this shahu mills has served as morning alarm for the people of kolhapur at exactly 6:30 in the morning the siren will go on it was a regular routine for almost 96 years you can say almost a century on the left hand side of the road this is the compound wall of shahu mill it is a big stone structure in the city after agriculture textile industry is the only industry that has generated huge employment for both skilled and unskilled labor in the beginning years of shahu mills the mill used to work in only one shift of 10 hours and without any holiday but as the various labor laws emerged the factories act the mill reduced shift hours to 9 hours and introduced additional shift since 1944 the shifts changed to 8 hours shifts three shifts first shift from 6:30 am to 3 pm second shift from 3 pm to 11 pm and third shift from 11 pm to 6 am in beginning there was only one spinning department in 1921 22 there were about 11101 spindles on which on an average 437 workers worked in 1928 the weaving section was begun in 1945 during this year there were about 959 workers employed out of which 921 workers were skilled and the rest of them were semi skilled until 1956 coal was used as a fuel since 1957 electricity was brought in use in the year 1972 automatic machinery was placed and spinning section was run in 3 turns while weaving section was run in 2 turns the employees working in the shahu mill belong to the kolhapur city and nearby villages in the year 1970 the number of workers employed in shahu mill was 2355 which included 536 skilled and 1200 unskilled and 224 office staff the textile industry continues 
to be the second largest employment generating sector in India. In this meal, the loin cloth of Rana Pratap brand, Madhrapalam cloth and cloth of Brinjal brand were produced. Madhrapalam cloth was exported to England, America and Russia. The cotton thread spun in this meal was sent to Ichalkaranji, Solapur, Madhavnagar, Vita. The white cloth known as Harak was sent to Mumbai and Madhavnagar for processing. The retail shop of this mill was opened near Shivaji Putla in Kolhapur city. At its initial stage, this mill was run on joint capital. But after a year, the Kolhapur state acquired and took possession of it. Since the year 1935, the management of the mill was in the hands of James Finlay and Company of Bombay. This company managed the mill as an agent of Kolhapur administration. The Kolhapur princely state merged into Bombay province in 1949. So, the mill was handed over to Bombay government. When the weaving section was added to the mill, the mill was known as Sri Shahu Spinning and Weaving Mill. From the year 1959 to 1967, the management of the mill was transferred from Messrs. Finlay to Messrs. Budgao Trading Company. The management was once again changed in 1967 and was handed over to the Maharashtra State Textile Corporation. At present, the mill is closed. This mill was closed on 31st August 2003.